Hey guys, before this video gets started, I just wanted to say thank you so much to those of you who are subscribing, but 90% of you are still not subscribed, so if you would please hit the subscribe button, I would appreciate it greatly. Without further ado, please enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, we will be going over the melee skill tree and how to farm experience points efficiently. So without further ado, please enjoy the video. The first thing we'll be going over is what most of you come here for, how to farm efficiently. The first thing we will need to make is a fist handle at the carpentry building. This will cost us 12 logs to craft, as we will need two for maximum efficiency. After we have crafted our two fist handles, we would then need to head outside and kill at least two spriggles. After gathering two drumsticks, we will need to cut the meat off and break the bones into spikes. We will place them on the handle, like so. Each handle can hold up to four spikes, so we will need a total of eight. After we have the weapon ready, we will be heading over to your desired farming spot. Once we arrive, we will be taking the handles and spinning them, like so, onto the enemy. After a short while, you will begin gaining XP quickly. After killing around 20 enemies, you should be gaining your first XP point. thing we will be going over in this video is the skill tree and what every skill does. The shrine is located to the left of town hall, down the mountain pass, and on top of the hill. The first skill is called Tri Strike. When using Tri Strike, after hitting three times in a row with the weapon, it will gain a blue tint and the next hit will increase the damage from 25 to 50% more. The second skill we will be going over is called Dual Strike. This skill will upgrade Tri Strike to only require two hits before activation, only increasing the damage from 25 to 50%. The third skill we will cover is Empowering Shields. When blocking three hits in a row with a shield, it will charge your sword for a hit that deals up to 40% damage. A weird bug I noticed when testing out the shield skill is that the spinning sword they have doesn't actually activate the perk. I decided to bang on the shield instead, which allows it to work. The fourth skill is called High Cut. This skill is activated by holding a sword in the sky. It will highlight itself blue and increase your damage up to 50%. The fifth skill is called Air Slash. 
Air Slash is extremely useful in combat against PvE enemies, as it deals increased damage versus a regular Slash. To activate Air Slash, simply hold up your sword in the sky. Next, a ball will appear. Hit the ball in any direction for a beam of energy to fly towards the enemy. The sixth skill we will be looking at is called Ground Slam. This skill is extremely useful for PvP and for chefs. To activate Ground Slam, hold your weapon above your head and smash it into the ground avoiding the Air Slash Ball. This causes an AoE effect of damage, reaching all the way behind the player and in front of them. To demonstrate the use for chefs, I will be destroying this pile of pumpkins and sprinkle meat. Now, onto the demonstration. As you can see, I'll raise the sword above my head, and after smashing it into the ground, all of the meat and pumpkins are now cut. We will do it once more to destroy the pumpkins the rest of the way. And as you can see, this is indeed the easiest method for cutting meat. Now before this video ends, I would like to give a big thank you to those who donated during the 24 hour stream. Sir Spamalot and the Watchful Arch. I would also like to get a big shout out to our channel members, Sir Spamalot. Now that's going to wrap up this melee XP guide. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit the like button, and if you haven't heard it yet, I love you, and I'm so proud of you. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye Do you want to join a cool community? Do you not have any friends or anywhere you feel safe joining? Then make sure to check out the description and join our Discord, so that way you can make plenty of friends and be notified of any cool events we do. Just recently, nice. we held a karaoke night. We also have multiple in-game events on both Quest and PC VR. You can also vote on the next video you want me to publish by getting yourself the video's role in the Role Select channel. We are an LGBTQ and furry safe space and we do not allow hate of, of any kind. And we pride ourselves on being the most popular US Township Tail Service.